Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you guys? I hope you guys all had a very healthy, happy, and safe holiday. This is going to be your January 2021 reading. I'm super excited about them. It is still a general reading, so it's not going to be able to resonate for everyone. Just take what's for you and leave the rest behind. Information for scheduling personal readings is going to be in the description box below. And guys, if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, our mid-monthlies, and our weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified, and you can go check them out. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my beautiful Scorpios, for the month of January. May the messages that need to be heard the most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me very clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my beautiful Scorpios, may the messages that need to be heard the most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, guys. Scorpios. Let's take a look here and see what we got going on. You know what, Scorpios? You guys are showing up as the King of Cups. And this is kind of huge because Scorpios, I'm a Scorpio as well. I'm a Scorpio sun and rising. So I totally sympathize with this these aspects of ourselves. But Scorpios, we have a hard time sometimes not letting our emotions run the show. Sometimes, you know, because we're water signs and because we're fixed water signs especially, um, our emotions can be very intense, very overwhelming. And for a lot of, you know, for a lot of us, it's very difficult for us not to allow our emotions to, you know, overwhelm us or be the sole like determining factor in our decision making. When a Scorpio can get to this place where they can acknowledge their emotions, they can feel their feelings and still not let them overwhelm you or, you know, run the show. That is a very beautiful thing to see. And I feel like that's where you're at. You are well aware with this King of Cups here of how you feel. But he's almost like looking in this deck like he's leaning forward, like determined, like ready for anything. And I feel like this is one of my favorite, and this deck is one of my favorite depictions of the King of Cups. Like the look on his face, he's ready for anything. And I feel like that's what this is. It's like, yeah, look around. The waters might be rough. There might be a lot of stuff going on. I might be feeling way too much, but I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Like I'm ready for anything. He is not letting, those like rough waters are rough. They are like tossing him around and he's just sitting there steady and sure and calm and totally in control over the emotions that are going on around him. And I feel like that's you because you guys have been through so much. You got the Nine of Wands here, the Wounded Warrior. You know what? This is like, I've been through hell and back. Like you can't even imagine the things that I've went through. You can't imagine the things that I've dealt with or that I am dealing with. And, but I have, I have been through so much that I know now that I can get through anything. I know now that I might have setbacks. I might have obstacles, but there is nothing that can hold me back. There is nothing that can keep me down. That's the energy that I'm feeling. It's almost like you're like 
I want to say like you're tempting fate or like you're taunting it, but look at that look. He's so ready. He's leaned forward and everything like, what do you got now? What's next? Like, I can take it. And I feel like there's, you know, there's somebody in your life. And I feel like you were really stressed out about this person for a long time. And I feel like you've made the conscious choice to release them to move forward in your own life. Um, for some of you, it could have been a third party situation that was involved. But I feel like the minute that you decided to turn your back to them, to release them, to let them go, you know, I feel like they got nasty. And I mean, they, I'm feeling kind of like narcissistic vibes. This person maybe tried to put everything on you or said some really cruel, nasty things or, you know, just very dishonest, very like, I don't like this. It's a very narcissistic kind of energy. It's a very nasty, cruel energy, cold and heartless, detached and nasty. I, um, not a great energy, but I feel like that side came out even more when you finally were like, <laughs> I'm done. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't need you. There's nothing that I can't accomplish on my own. And that's what I'm feeling like with this is like, okay, say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. You can't affect me anymore. You can't get me out of my calm, out of my peace. You don't have any power anymore. I'm not allowing you to have any power over me anymore. And I feel like that to you is a very freeing feeling. It is... Like, you're finally feeling this. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's like, I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to be stressed about this anymore. I don't have to let this person's words affect me. It's like, you finally see the light. You got the Seven of Swords in the reverse, too. This person may have, you know, you may have, like, I feel like self-deceit. Like, maybe you thought that you really needed this person, or you thought you couldn't move on. You thought you couldn't, you know live without this person or you would always want this person but it's like now with it being the reverse now you see the truth now you see clearly and you're like I don't need you I don't need this and I'm so much better off without it you know the ace of cup or yes the ace of cups in the reverse as well so this is like this is like unrequited love I feel like you don't even see them the same way that you used to now that their true colors are fully out it's like you don't even have the same feelings queen of swords you're like, I know the truth. I see you very clearly. I'm no longer putting up with anything that isn't for my highest good. I'm no longer putting up with your lies and your cruelty and your deceit. I'm no longer doing it because I see clearly now. I see that this isn't worth it and I don't even feel the same way anymore. I'm going to fight for myself now. I'm going to do what makes me happy now. I love this. I do. I feel like you're going in a whole different direction. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. So I do feel like this is you like figuring out what, where to go from here. Figuring out like what your next move is, where your next steps are. And it's a very determined energy. And you can see in this, there's water in this too, but it's still, it's calm. And I feel like, you know, you're like, I've been through so much. Now I just want peace. I've been through so much in connections and especially in this one. And now that I see the truth, now that I'm finding that strength to cut out anything that doesn't serve me, to fight for myself, now I just want peace. And I feel like you're taking the steps. You're trying to figure out what steps you need to take to find that peace, where to go from here, what direction but you know that you're doing the right thing. You have that truth. You have that clarity. And I do feel like, especially with the three cups being here too, I do feel like there's a cause for celebration too. I feel like you're like, there's a part of you that is proud of yourself. There's a part of you that is feeling very free. That is very, you know, happy. Like, yes, you've been through a lot. Yes, this person really hurt you, but there's a strength and a power and an empowerment and a freedom that comes from standing up for yourself, from knowing your worth and cutting things out that don't serve you. And I feel like there's a part of you that's feeling that too. 
So let's clarify. Let's get more into this. Tell me about this King of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about the King of Swords in the reverse, please. Why is the King of Swords in the reverse here? And the Three of Wands. So I feel like I'm getting a couple messages. Because you went on a new direction, because you decided to go on a new path, it really pissed this person off. And also because I feel like they were waiting for you to change your mind. I feel like they really thought that, you know, you would come back around to them and they would get their way. Because maybe they have in the past. Maybe you have forgiven them before and come back to them. And they really felt like you were going to. Um, they were waiting for you to come back. And when you didn't, I feel like it made them really upset when they realized that you weren't coming back this time. Um, when they saw that you going on a new path on your own in a new direction and the lions there. So when they saw, they saw that you meant it. They saw that strength and that determination in your eyes. And they knew, they knew you weren't coming back this time. They knew you were like, you were really done. And I feel like that's what pissed them off because they realized they didn't have the hold on you that they once did. Tell me about this King of Cups, please. That's too many. Tell me about the King of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Tell me about the King of Cups for Scorpio. And you have the Temperance. So you know that you're meant for something else. I feel like you're even being divinely guided out of this situation. Um, I feel like your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, they're guiding you. And I feel like you can feel those little intuitive nudges. You know that this is the best thing for you. And I also feel it's like, you're like, this is a time for healing for me. I feel like that's what's helping you stay so calm is that, and with these butterflies being here, like you're feeling empowered. You're feeling a shift within yourself, a change and a transformation within yourself. Going from this person who used to forgive this person, who used to take this person back, who used to let people mistreat you, let people hurt you, let people, you know, in your life who didn't value you. And you feel this shift like, no, not anymore, never again. And it's lighting this fire within yourself. It's empowering you. And with those butterflies there, you feel this change. You feel this transformation. And it's giving you courage. It's giving you strength. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. The Sun card. So you might not be exactly sure what direction you want to go in, but you know you want to be happy. You know you want to be happy. And you're, like, the, the Knight of Pentacles is about figuring out what next steps to take. It can be planning and strategizing. You're figuring out where to go from here. You want to go towards your happiness. And you can see the butterflies there again. So this is like, you know it's time for change. You know it's time to transform. You know that you're meant for something more. And you're eager to go figure that out. Trying to figure out what lies ahead for you. But there's not a fear attached to it. It's more of an excitement. There could be some self-doubts. You know, you've been doing this with this person for so long. It's like, what's next? But then you see that it's like a blank canvas. You can do anything you want. It's like you're the artist and your whole life is ahead of you and it's a blank canvas and you can create anything you want. And then you start to feel that excitement, that happiness. So tell me about this three of cups, please. Tell me about the three of cups for Scorpio. Fool. You're excited. You're feeling happy because you did it. And once again, the butterflies. I swear the butterflies are not in every in every card but the ones that you pulled up they are and I love that because it's more of this change this is like yes there is reason to celebrate yes I do feel excited because I know that I'm embarking on something new I'm embarking on a new journey I'm embarking on this change within myself with this transformation and I'm excited about it I'm celebrating my choices there's new opportunities coming in for you and you're excited about them. You're excited about the possibilities. I really love this for you, Scorpio. I know that this is difficult. And I know that it's taken so much strength for you 
to walk away and to turn this person down and this person is not handling it well they are a very nasty person and we're going to pray that they get the help that they need but scorpios you should be proud of yourself because you stood up for yourself you know your worth and you're doing what's best for you regardless of any fears or doubts that you may be having you know that you're doing what's for your highest good and i feel like there's the bigger part of you that is excited about it yes you've been through a lot yes you're hurting you know there could be fears because of the unknown because of not what's you know not being sure where you're going but you know that wherever you're going it's better than where you've just been and you're excited to see what you can make it you guys remember you do create your own reality you can turn your life into whatever you want it to be just pay attention to your thoughts and your beliefs so guys we are going to um, use the Oracle decks now to get some confirmation, clarification, or advice for you. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Can I get some confirmation, some clarification, or advice for my beautiful Scorpios? Confirmation, clarification, or advice, please. Confirmation, clarification, or advice. All right. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel like, Scorpio, maybe for some of you, this could be one of the reasons why you did stay for so long or why you put up with things that you know that you shouldn't have. You know, it could be some, like, codependent behavior because you've been used to this for so long. And because, you know, when people hurt us in this way or people, you know, they can be mentally abusive. And, you know, that can take a toll on our emotions and on our... You know mental and emotional health and it can make us feel tied to somebody or codependent so i feel like spirit just giving you that confirmation that when you feel that one that it's pretty normal two that just to be careful of that make sure that that's not something that you're dealing with if it is you know don't be afraid to seek help if that's what you need to do there's nothing wrong with it and everybody needs some help sometimes okay and we also have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith bring you romance this is definitely for me as a reader this is one of my manifestation cards so this is like exactly what I was telling you about how you guys can really you have a blank canvas in front of you you guys can literally manifest any kind of life you want anything you want any kind of career dream business you know relationship so just watch your thoughts watch your beliefs stay positive stay optimistic so that you manifest the things that you want to manifest Let's see what else we got. Archangel spirit guides and ancestors. Some confirmation, Ooh, clarification, or advice. I saved them this time. Confirmation, clarification, or advice, please. All right. Let's see what we got. Expect a powerful change and step out of your comfort zone. Yes, I feel like you guys have been... You know, like I said, staying with this person out of fear, staying with this person, you know, because you have for so long and you weren't sure where to go from here or how to get out. And guys, I really feel like this is spirit saying it's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to do something different. You can't have change if you keep doing everything the same. It's time to make some changes. And then we have expect a powerful change. So when you step out of your comfort zone, when you make different decisions, there's going to be powerful change. And Spirit wants you to be ready for it. And I feel like it's going to be beautiful. Now we're going to use the Archangel deck to ask the Archangels that will be watching over you and guiding you the very most through the month of January and what message they have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and guide my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, what message do you have for them that would help them the very most? As you watch over and guide my beautiful Scorpios, what message do you have for them? All right, let's see what we got for you. I am leading you toward the answers to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Your archangels, your spirit guides, and your ancestors, they are guiding you. They are leading you out of this situation and towards what is meant for you. So listen to your intuition. Listen to those little nudges and those thoughts and the things that they lead you to. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need 
and God is in charge of how it will happen. Have faith. So if you guys, especially you don't leaving maybe money with something that you are concerned about, Spirit wants you to know that the money is coming. You don't have to know how, you don't have to know from where, but it's coming. And to have that faith and expect it and it will be there. All right, guys. I am sending you guys so much love and light. I know this is a very difficult situation. And guys, I promise I'm praying for you, okay? And I want you to know that I am so incredibly proud of you. I know how difficult this can be. I know how frightening it can be. And change is not something that we're very good at sometimes. But guys, I'm proud of you for doing what's best for you. And I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. And I'm proud of you for knowing your worth. Okay, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason, you don't have to specify, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And guys, I will be praying for you personally, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Till next time.